Additive manufacturing is showing rapid growth in the manufacturing sector. But if you've ever seen a high volume injection molding line, it's not unreasonable to doubt additive's viability as a competitive mass production process. However, additive manufacturing is finding inroads in the factory floor, not for mass production, but for more supporting roles like jigs, fixtures, and tooling. We spoke with Frank Marangel, president of BigRep, about this fascinating market for industrial 3D printing and about BigRep's large format polymer machines. Additive manufacturing for tooling has so many benefits. The first one is that you can start doing your tooling before you even have a first prototype from the, uh, you know, from, from the engineering team, right? So, I mean, that's just a given of additive. Uh, that, and you can perfectly align whatever jig fixture or, or different cart or housing or tray or whatever you need exactly to match the, uh, the need in the manufacturing floor. You want to make sure that's durable material. So we have material that is industrial grade material that uh, it will be strong and will uh, resist impact and will be able to be flexible and used in the manufacturing. But now if I bring it home to Big Wrap, uh, many of the parts that I was just talking about need to be bigger than your average desktop printer. So either they're compromising or they're gluing and pinning and like in uh, other aspects of prototyping and other areas where 3D printing is that kind of pinning and gluing waste time and you lose accuracy and you lose control over the process. So if you can do it all in one, and that's why Big Rep has very large printers. So we have a one meter by one meter by one meter, uh, it's a one meter cubed build area on our Big Rep One. And our Big Rep Studio has a one meter by a half a meter by a half a meter build area. So one quarter the size, but still pretty big area. And so that gives you ability to print what you need without compromising on the size and the, therefore the quality of the part. Many of the customers that didn't think they needed additive manufacturing for tooling got a machine, one, can't live without it, and two, bought a second machine because the, it was running 724 and everybody uh, wants a piece of it. So there's usually one application that justifies the machine. And then after that, everyone else comes up and says, oh, can I use it for this? Can I use it for that? And all of a sudden, it's over capacity, and then, um, then they buy another machine.